be pro-Palestinian and protest, you can get arrested. Be pro-Nazi and walk around screaming slurs and hate speech. Well, that's your freedom of speech and nothing will happen. It is truly wild how Nazis actually have more rights to free speech than pro-Palestinian protesters. Campus chaos is spreading coast to coast as pro-Palestinian agitators step up their campaign. Protesters clashed with police at New York University as cops tore down a tent city. Leave the plaza now or you will be arrested for trespass. 150 were arrested as police filled the streets around the university campus in Greenwich Village. And the protests continue today, including here at NYU. But check this out over my shoulder. You can see the university is actually constructing a large wooden wall outside of the Stern Business School. This is going to span the entire entrance to the school, blocking the area where the pro-Palestine protesters set up their encampment just last night. Clearly, the university is concerned about that. Well. Wow. Building a wall to prevent people from protesting. How pretty fascist. That same thing happening all over again. Uptown at Columbia University, this is the scene inside the huge tent city on campus. Dozens of tents are packed tightly together and conditions are becoming unsanitary. All classes at the university are now hybrid for the last five days of the semester. And the toxic atmosphere of anti-Semitism is prompting some of Columbia's billionaire donors to withhold their financial support. That How is it anti-Semitic to be in support of people uh, suffering from a genocide and to be against the government doing that? It is not racist to be against a government. Includes New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft. I, mean, I just can't believe should we really care what some mega billionaire uh, cares about? We in New York City at Columbia University, Jewish students are afraid to go to classes. There were violent classes. There's tons of Jewish students in favor and support of Palestinians that aren't afraid to go. Uh, why are the Jewish people that are in support of Israel afraid to go to class? Because they're just lying. Clashes with police at California State Polytechnic in Northern California, where students occupied a building and barricaded the entrance with furniture. One student repeatedly clonks a riot cop on the helmet with a water cooler bottle. Police tried to battle their way through the barricades, but were actually forced to retreat from the narrow doorway. At the University of Michigan, protests. Did they really need to send the police to arrest people? No, but they wanted to show that if you support Palestinian, you're going to be attacked. Protesters disrupted the annual honor ceremony, striding across the stage, displaying anti-Israel placards. The ceremony was abandoned. Where are the police? Why do they let these people in? Protests across the country seem likely to continue. Yeah, just because you arrest people doesn't mean people are going to stop uh, being against a genocide. This is just like with the Vietnam Wars and other anti-war protesters. You can arrest them, but that won't stop them being against war and the murders of innocent people.